Japanese is awesome language, a lot of people get intimidated, but it's really not that bad. I think the thing that kind of throws people off is the kanji, the writing system with the Chinese characters. And that part's kind of hard, but what people don't realize is it's not like Chinese where it's all these like symbolic characters and that's all they have. There's also phonetic, uh, a couple phonetic alphabets that they use for different things. There's hiragana and katakana. Hiragana is used for um, native Japanese words and sounds. Um, so they use that for most of their words and it's a completely phonetic alphabet. Super, super easy to pick up. Because um, in Japanese, there's only five vowel sounds. There's the Latin vowels. A, I, U, E, O. And that's it. And then everything else, um, everything else is a consonant followed by a vowel, or it's just a vowel by itself, or there's one character, N, which is the only consonant that stands by, by itself. And so it makes it super easy, like, a i u e o kaki kukeko sashi suseso, like, just really easy. And then katakana is used for foreign words, like, Japanese borrows a ton of different words from English and lots of other languages. And it's really fun because sometimes they'll have really interesting takes on the English language. Like, some of the words are exactly the same, like pen is pen in Japanese. Um, other ones are just, most of the other words are just, um, they're the same English word, but with a Japanese pronunciation. So like, the word pink, you'd say pink. <laughs> and so you're just like saying the English word with Japanese sounds. Some of them are, get kind of out there though, like, McDonald's is like, they'll either shorten it and make it really small, like maku, or they'll say something really big, long, and nasty, like maku do narudo. <laughs> and it's just like really hard to say. But yeah, and then they they have some weird, weird takes on different words where they think it means something, but it really doesn't. <laughs> but no, it's super, super fun. In Japanese, they have a different sentence order. You know, usually ours is subject, verb, object. Um, with Japanese, it's subject, object, verb, which means, in essence, that if you were to take a sentence, you would say the first part of it the same way you would say in English, this the subject, and then you would say the rest of the sentence backwards. <laughs> And so I think that one, that one's the biggest kind of struggle to get over. Um, but once you get used to it, it's really not that bad. It makes interpreting or, you know, translating kind of, you know, hard because you have to wait for the verb at the very end of the sentence before you can really start <laughs> translating. <laughs> but that's, yeah, no, it's fun. <laughs>